air supply of soap. There's two basic competitions you can have. A breathing contest and a breathing contest. Because these are the most basic things that human beings do. USA! USA! I'm not sure what draws people to competitive eating, but they are drawn to it. When the Nathan's contest started between two recent immigrants to the United States saying, I'm going to compete with you to see who's more American. Well, how are you going to do that? Let's go to Coney Island. We'll eat hot dogs. That's the most American thing. I eat a lot. I stretch my stomach with water. What's the worst that can happen? I'm right 19th in the world at something, you know? Even though it's just eating, you're really good at something. There's a few people that can say, I owe my success to a hamburger. One of them is the CEO of McDonald's. One of them is the CEO of Burger King. And one of them is me. No one is like Kobayashi. I never saw an athlete like him, ever. His name has become synonymous with competitive eating. Kobayashi was take his custody. He did not compete this year after contract negotiations broke down with Major League Eating. When you contain something like that, it has no room to grow and mature. No, I just want my guys doing this because I'm making money off them. Nathan's contest, the ad equivalency is valued at $300 million, but it doesn't trickle down to the lesser eaters. People have no concept of like the weight, the training, and all the stuff that goes into it. If you drink over a gallon of water and you digest it and it goes through your system, you can drown. <laughs> If he kept doing it, it would likely destroy the elasticity of the stuff. I've had little strings of what looked to be lining come up. There's something underneath all of this that we're not getting. They compete at the highest level of their game. They do things that the average member of the public cannot or will not do. And it's exciting to watch. I just want to be the best. How much drama do we need? I want to eat a shark. Competition in excess. I mean, you've just basically said the American motto.